Hey guys, Sean B here today. I want to talk about the farming team for the Cliff of Tough Beastmen. When we talk about farming ancient rune in Dimension Hall, everybody is always going to be about Elunia for the despair, the nemesis, and the will. But nobody really take a look at this one. I think this guy is actually easier. The biggest reason here is still the will runes because will rune is probably the best two set for endgame PvP. They are even good for some PvE content like R5. So who realistically used Despair Rune? In my box, I have Juno, Rika, and Zyros. Maybe you want to run up Triton or Claron Despair as well, but that depends on you. So if I have already equipped them with good runes, I still need runes for my Miho, my Trevor, my Garo, my Skogo. So there are many units that can use a good Vampire set as well. Maybe you don't have any unit I have for the spare use. You don't even have a Praha on Ethna who are very popular on the spare. Then you probably don't really use the spare rune much for everybody. Maybe for a unit here and there in TOA, but you don't need the best of the best the spare rune for a TOA unit. If we take a look at the best team, I think the variety here is much better because you can use O element and you can potentially put your Nat 5 in the team as well. This is a very popular team because you have defense break from Zhao Tan and big damage from the rest of the gang. This is the team I'm currently using. It is 100% so far, but I've only done around 50 runs. So I'm not 100% sure whether it will fail in the future, but so far so good. I have a lot of defense break in my team to make sure that I always have defense break on the boss. I get to use my Ikaru, which is amazing. In Dragons, you have the guild level bonus. So in there, I have an extra 5% defense, which means if you are at the border of the defense requirement, you might need to get a bit more defense for your Ikaru. So my Ikaru is right now rocking 2,435. And that's more than enough defense to team up with everybody. And when he team up with everybody, he's going to destroy the boss in pretty much one turn. And with the revenge counter buff that he has all the time, the boss will always have defense break. And with that, I always do enough damage. This team also features a healer in Vigor, which means very hard to fail. In the last stage, maybe one unit will die, but the moment I have defense break on the boss, I'm gonna be okay. And if I get team up in the last stage, super easy. So one of my favorite teams so far that I've built for this dungeon, Full water, I get to use Galleon, Ikaru, Vigor, which I already have built for various other content. You can definitely replace Susano with a Theomas, but showcasing a unit like this makes me feel very happy. Ikaru is the DB12 Ikaru, nothing crazy, just triple defense, have some accuracy in it, and make sure that he has enough defense to team up outside of DB12. This is my Vigor, max skill and on speed quick damage HP. A lot of you guys right now will be like, yep, I'm done, can't do this. But I've seen on Reddit, people run speed HP, HP, Vigor, nothing crazy, and they do just fine. My Vigor, I really want him to be good. He's one of the best units in the game right now for PvP. So I put a lot of good runes on him, and I don't regret it because he get me wins with Kamun and Skogo in my siege defense. My Galleon is on violent speed, HP, and accuracy. Galleon AI is pretty shitty. So if I can Violent proc back into time to loot, that'd be pretty amazing. I've tried with damage Galleon, which is not a bad idea. He can do very good damage with Pirate Strike and Attack buff, but he get really swishy. And once in a while, the Lizard Man target him with a defense break. Oh, that's not really good. Lastly, I have Susano on Vampire Blade, Speed with Damage Attack. They're pretty good run as well, but I don't think this is not like insanely crazy. Because this current setup right here has... 2 3 star and 1 4 star. You can run a 5 star at the end, so you can run your Barbara, Chow, Theomas, Teor, whatever cool water net file you have that can do good damage, it's gonna be okay. Susano is just a very good water net for to do good damage and he's fusible. That's why I'm featuring him, but honestly, any water net 5 I think is gonna be much better that can do good damage. I think this is actually not a bad idea to make your team a very safe team with Tetra. Right here. Tetra? Everything. Oh my god. Right there. I think Tetra is gonna make this team very, very good. 
super safe, but not so fast. So right there, I think Tetra is amazing. And you don't need very good rune from Tetra, just Violent Nemesis or Violent anything, speed HP, HP. She has very good base speed, so ruining her would not be a big problem. So this will be like two minute run-ish because you don't have a lot of damage. You only have two damage dealer, which is Vigor and Perna. You can also put Veramos in the position of Perna, which will make the team probably 100% safe, but not too fast. In the last wave of the boss, he can actually debuff you through immunity if he crit on you. That's why anti-crit is so popular in this dungeon, and that's why Vigor is one of the best units for this dungeon, with damage, heal block, and anti-crit. So Veramos will probably be the best option if you want your team to be super safe when Vigor doesn't buff the heal no, not heal block. When Vigor doesn't buff the anti-crit, then Veramos will be there to save the day to cleanse the debuff for your team. But there are many, many debuffs, so even Veramos will not be doing enough to cleanse everything. So if you want to put a damage dealer in the position of Perna, I think it's going to be just fine. Remember, the boss is fire. So trying to find a water net farm you want to use, you can run a Theomas as well to do good damage. Theomas can have defense break too. And Theomas is probably bread and butter for a lot of people out there in terms of a generic damage unit. The core is right there. You can also replace Bella with Darien because sometimes you don't need the healing but you need the damage reduction. With Fran and Vigor, you already have a lot of healing. But with Bella, you can receive the boss hit with much more confidence. But hey, if the core is Fran, Vigor, Bella or Darien, you can put in whatever nat 5 you want in the position of Perna to either do damage or make your team safer. But that will be the team. So my stats right now may look pretty crazy for you guys, but with this amount of healing and protection, I think you're going to do okay with a much weaker team in comparison because there's so much healing in this team. And once again, if you want to be safe, put in a Veramos to cleanse the debuff away. I will probably farm this dungeon from now on for my Dimension Hole energy because I do need better Vampire runes for my Miho, Garo, and Trevor because I'm starting to use them a bit more, especially Trevor against a Leo team because I let the Leo through and then I can build a no speed Trevor with just super stats, a lot of HP and damage output and that's my goal. Also things like Garo can use better rune because I haven't farmed this dungeon in a long time and I do have a good amount of despair ancient rune already. And farming this doesn't mean I'm losing out on anything because I can still have the will runes from this dungeon, which is not bad. And better guard rune for my Karo to improve my DB12 is gonna be better. And I'm always looking forward to improve my triple Karo. I've gone from a minute five average to a 52 second average team now. And I still can see a lot of improvement to be done in the Ikaru team. A lot of slot 1 can have more crit rate, attack and crit damage for guard rune. And farming ancient guard rune is definitely going to improve that if I manage to get a good rune. So I'll be farming this dungeon from now on. And this is the team I'll be using. Haven't failed since. And it's not too slow. Which is good enough. And that's it for me. Sean B in the Cliff of Top Beastman. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, like and subscribe.